Honourable Member for Edmonton Meadow Art. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to speak about Canadian Patient Safety Week, which was recognized on November 2nd to November 6th. Now in its fifth year, the goal of Canadian Patient Safety Week is to increase awareness of patient safety issues and share information about best practices in patient safety. This year's theme was Ask, Listen, Talk. Each year, Albertans experience an estimated 7,000 adverse events out of the millions of patient interactions they have with healthcare providers. And some of these events include medication and procedure errors while receiving care in our hospitals. Adverse events not only affect the patient's health, but are an additional burden to the health system in terms of longer hospital stays, greater use of resources, and delay of care for others. The Canadian Patient Safety Institute relies on the efforts of thousands of healthcare professionals and their professional colleges, as well as private and public healthcare organizations and health facility operators to help spread the message that good health, good health care starts with good communication. Patients have the right to receive clear information about the care they are receiving. Earlier this year, the Health Quality Council of Alberta released a useful guide to help Albertans get the most out of their health care experience. And this is called It's OK to Ask. The guide encourages patients to be open and honest with their health care provider and ask questions when they don't understand their health condition and treatment options. This practical guide can be found on the Council's website at www.hqca.ca. Canadian Patient Safety Week reminds us that we all have responsibility in patient care. So to mark this important week, I encourage everyone to take an active role in advocating for our health and the health of our loved ones. By taking time to ask, listen, and talk, we can do our part to ensure that our health care system provides the best and safe and effective care possible. Mr. Speaker, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank all the good, hard-working frontline staff for all that they do to make this system what it is today. Thank you.